Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. We are halfway through the year, so it is time for my ranking, my 2023 palettes so far. I do so many ranking videos on this channel. I always rank the last 10 palettes that I tried. I do annual ranking videos. I do brand ranking videos. I do so many. And I also like to do kind of a halfway point on what I've tried so far this year. I think we're gonna have around 40 palettes to rank, and I'm really looking forward to seeing like where everything kind of stands so far. I definitely know I've tried some major, major top tier favorites, and I've tried some things that I didn't love quite so much. But we're gonna see what happens. I'm really excited to dive in. I would love to know what your favorites and least favorites of the year have been so far. I think it's fun to just kind of gauge what each other's interested in. Before we hop into the ranking itself, I did of course film this look. It should already be up on Instagram and TikTok and probably YouTube shorts. If not, it'll be up very soon by the time this video goes up. As far as my accessories today go, I don't know where this choker's from it's old and these earrings are from the brand grateful life designs so yeah without further ado let's just hop in and rank all of the palettes i've tried so far in 2023 all right friends let's kick it off we are going to rank all 41 palettes that i have tried thus far this year in 2023 um, and we're gonna rank them. And honestly, this was tough. It's always kind of tough. Just because I am fairly picky with what I am willing to try out, because I don't want to use things just for the sake of using them. I want to use things that I truly see myself enjoying. So really only three of these I would like consider disliking. The other bottom ones are just like, not quite my favorite. Like maybe they're fine, they're just not my perfect palette, but we're gonna get into that. Before we get into the official ranking, I do have to mention that at the beginning of the year, the Perfect World collection between myself, Makeup Just For Fun, and Lauren May Beauty did launch with Odin's Eye. I'm so proud of our trio collab. I think this was so much fun. And because I have heavy bias towards these, considering I was a part of this collab, um, I'm not gonna include these in the ranking. These are more just gonna be the honorable mention. Obviously, these are my favorite because I just hold such an attachment to these, so I didn't wanna officially rank them, but I'll, I'll quickly show them off. This one's Lauren May Beauties, the Sea Talk palette. Such a sparkly dream. This one is Amanda's Makeup Just For Fun, the Flora Story palette. So beautiful, fairy garden energy. And this one's mine, my Planet Spirit palette. This was just my ode to bright, colorful energy. I wanted bright, I wanted sunshine, I wanted liveliness and very like, everything the light touches is our kingdom kind of energy. I am so obsessed. And now we're gonna get into the official ranking and rank all 41 of the other palettes that I have tried so far this year. Number 41 is my Sleepaway Camp palette by Creature Cosmetics. It's not the worst. It's just not the best. I feel like the shimmers are very satin subtle, like they don't really do much for me. And the fact that this is just kind of a basic rainbow palette doesn't earn it any points in my opinion. I feel like if it's gonna be a basic rainbow palette, it needs to have a killer formula and it just unfortunately doesn't. Like I said, it's not the worst thing I've ever tried, but it is my least favorite palette that I've tried this year. Number 40 is going to be the Lavender one by Lawless. This one, I feel like I should have known better than to try this one. I feel like I should have just trusted my gut instinct and known that this probably wasn't gonna be my favorite formula. And again, while it wasn't the worst thing, it's just a little too subtle for me. The shimmers are okay. They offer a nice gleam to the eyes, but it's nothing super special. And the mattes are all just very subtle. And I wanted to like this because I love those pops of lavender, but I'm already not a neutral girly and this is very neutral heavy. This is just one of the ones I should have given to a friend from the get go. So yeah, this is number 40. Number 39 is the Reanimator palette by Creature Cosmetics. And again, similar to that Sleepaway Camp one, the shimmers that are in here are just so subtle. Like, they don't do much. Don't love that there's a pressed glitter in here. It's not a deal breaker for me, but it doesn't like earn at any points, you know what I mean? And as much as I love this color story, like these are very Betty Jean colors, this just wasn't my favorite palette to use, so. Ranked at number 39. And now, starting with number 38, I do like these palettes. I didn't really have problems formula-wise or anything. They're just like 
maybe not like my perfect palette in comparison to the ones that are ranked highly. But again, starting right now, I really don't dislike it. So really starting here, if any of these are your favorite palette, I get it, they're, they're nice. <laughs> Number 38 is the Kala palette from Ace Beauté. I think this is a really good setup for a neutral palette. I feel like you got all your bases covered. You have a nice range from light to deep. And you also have various undertones for the shimmers and they have such a beautiful metallic sparkly finish on the lids. I do think this is a brilliant palette. I just very rarely reach for all neutral palettes. So that's the only reason I ranked it so low, but it is a really nice formula. Number 37 is the Electric Pink Palette from Sigma. I really like Sigma Shimmer formula. I think they're really glossy looking on the lids. And while they're not like crazy shifty sparkly, I really appreciate that glossy finish that they have. And the mattes are nice. They have good pigmentation. They blend beautifully. It's just, you know, I don't reach for these like neutral pinky mauve palettes very much. Like, I was intrigued by that bright pink in the center, and while it's really pretty, I just don't reach for this one enough to rank it any higher. Number 36 is the Legend of Korra palette from ColourPop. I do think this is really pretty. I had a good time playing with this one. By the way, I've done looks with all of these palettes throughout my various platforms, YouTube, Instagram, uh, TikTok, so you can go check out looks if you need inspo. Um, this one I do like. I think there are aspects of this that the first Avatar palette should have had, like the brighter greens. The shimmers are really pretty in here. I like that we have a mixture of textures. Honestly, it's a really nitpicky thing why I ended up ranking this one so low, but unfortunately this Future Industry shade is just like so nothing. Like it's such a bland, disappointing shade. And when I have a lineup of palettes that really are pretty nice, I do have to be really picky with my ranking. So that honestly knocked it down a few pegs. Um, but overall I did enjoy this aside from that one shade. Number 35 is my Coastal palette from Alter Ego. It's a dupe for the Huda Beauty Rose something or other, Rose Quartz maybe, I'm not sure. I also don't know why they called this one Coastal. Like this color story has nothing to do with Coastal. Um, but this one's fun. It's kind of like romantic vibes. I was actually really attracted to this when they sent it to me just based on the shimmers. I feel like they had really nice glitz and sparkle and the different textures are really appealing. This like Petri dish shade is super weird, but you know. <laughs> Um, overall, I thought this was fun to play with. I think it's a really pretty palette, but again, I just don't gravitate towards these like mauve vibes very much, so I couldn't really rank it any higher, but I did think it was pretty. Number 34, it honestly pains me to put this one so low because I really had a good time with this whole Phantom Thieves collection from Game Beauty, but unfortunately other things just beat it out, you know? Um, but this is the Game Beauty Phantom Thieves palette. This is in collaboration with the game Persona 5 Royal, and it's so beautiful, and this inspired me to start playing the game, and I've been having so much fun with it. I did take a little bit of a break, but alas, we're still here. Um, I think this is super fun. I like the bright colors. I like that we have kind of those rich, bright primary colors, but this isn't just a typical rainbow palette either. Like, there's some differences in tone. I think this one's fun. Honestly, the shimmers, I feel like, could have been beefed up a little bit more. They have a nice like richness on the lids, but I feel like if they could have been a little more sparkly or something, maybe I would have ranked it higher. But overall, I did really, really enjoy this. I love this bright, bright red. And number 33, the other palette from that collection is the Metaverse palette from Game Beauty. I love this color story. I think it's kind of funky and weird. I like that it's kind of grungy and muted. Honestly, I feel like the shimmers in this one were also a little better than the other palette, but not like by much. And again, they're not bad shimmers. I just... Maybe if they were beefed up a little bit more, I would have felt differently. But overall, really enjoyed both of these. I just couldn't rank them any higher. Everything else kind of beat it out. Number 32 is the Fleur palette from Ace Beauté. This is part of that collection of little travel-sized palettes. I, again, think this is really pretty. The shimmer formula in here is beautiful and the mattes blend beautifully. Again, like I said with the Kala palette, I love that we have a really good range of light to deep with the purples, and we also have different undertones of purples. So even though this is monochromatic, there's a lot you can do with it. I just didn't really feel like ranking it any higher because I don't gravitate towards monochromatic palettes very often. So even though I love the formula, I think it's beautiful. I just felt like the other color story spoke to me more. And number 31, we have my Creature Cosmetics Trick or Treat palette. It opens like this. 
It's a little obnoxious, but it's also kind of fun. This one, I do feel like the formula was better than the other two Creature Cosmetics palettes I mentioned earlier. I feel like the mattes in this one have a little more pigment, a little more blendability, and the shimmers, while they're still not crazy shifty sparkly, I do feel like they have more richness to them on the lids than the more satiny shimmers previously. I don't love that there's a glitter in here, but you know, it's okay. Um, and overall, this color story is just really fun. I'm a sucker for Halloween. The Trick or Treat franchise is one of my favorites, and even though it's still not like one of my favorite palettes I've tried this year, I do like this one quite a bit more than the other Creature Cosmetic ones. Like enough to say that I like this one, didn't like those ones. Um, but yeah, this is number 31. Number 30 is the Beachy palette from Sigma. I was actually very pleasantly surprised with this one. I feel like it is my perfect Beachy palette because this gets so dark and smoky and grungy with those beautiful pops of oceany blue. I feel like Beachy palettes are usually very subtle, but this one can get very grungified. This Riptide shade right here is really, really beautiful. Um, but again, it's just Maybe not the first one I'm gonna reach for color story-wise, so I couldn't rank it any higher, but I did genuinely enjoy this one. Number 29 is the Angela Bright palette with Sigma. I've been having a blast with this one recently. I think Angela killed it. I think these are really fun colors. I love the shade names. They make me really, really happy. I think there's a really fun mixture of colors and neutrals, but again, because I don't reach for neutrals all the time and I'm more likely to reach for a colorful palette. That's why I didn't rank this one any higher, but I did have a really fun time with it. I think the shimmers are really nice in here, really glossy looking on the lids, especially champagne problems. Um, this one's a fun one. Number 28 is the Ladybug Glow Palette. I don't think there's like an official name on this one. It's just the Ladybug Glow Palette. Brian sent me this palette at the beginning of the year and I enjoyed it enough. I think the multi-chromes here on the bottom are really pretty and the silver is very, very wet looking. I felt like the mattes were really pigmented and really blendable. My most nitpicky thing with this palette is just I think the color story is kind of odd. I love the mattes. I think all the mattes are really fun together, but I just feel like these were odd colors as far as the shimmers go <laughs> to go with the mattes. Just my personal opinion, but because I didn't really have any problems with the formula itself, I actually think it's pretty nice. I didn't want to like rank it lower just because I think the color story is kind of weird and it's really just the specific shimmer. So I don't know. I had weird thoughts about this one, but I ended up ranking it here. I didn't really want to rank it any lower than the spot, but I couldn't rank it higher either. Number 27 is the Melt Cosmetics Electric Palette. I was so excited for this one. I am such a sucker for melt. I've never met a melt palette that I don't like, especially like formula wise. I think their formulas are amazing. I think the mattes are so pigmented and blendable and the shimmers are so super pretty and so fun. This blue one specifically, Galactic Love, is so insanely sparkly on the lids. It's incredible. Like one of their best shimmers they've ever done, honestly. Um, this palette just ended up not being my favorite color story-wise. I just feel like it's missing something. I feel like these two neutrally shades are super unnecessary. I think this would have benefited from a bright neon green matte like on the packaging. And honestly, maybe even like, I don't know. Something else, something instead of those two. I feel like that would have beefed this up another notch, but overall I did still like the looks I created. I like the formula. I'm just kind of not inspired by it now that I've used it a couple times, so I didn't want to rank it any higher than this. Number 26 is my Wheat Belt Palette from Geology Cosmetics. I think this is beautiful. This one is so fun. I love the mixture of these kind of like dingy, dusty tones with the brighter like neon pops. The shimmers are very pretty and saturated and like gives you a wet gleam on the eyes. And the mattes are really nice to play with. I think this one's really fun. This is, we're kind of reaching that like middle section where I had a hard time placing them starting like right now. So this one, I feel like maybe I could have ranked a little bit higher, but I ultimately decided to keep it here. The other palettes going forward, I'm just more likely to reach for, but I had a great time with this one. Number 25 is the Flora palette. Another one of those Ace Bute palettes. This is obviously my second favorite of that lineup. I just think this is such a beautiful like sunflower vibe. I love the mixture of yellows with the like rusty browns. I just think it's so pretty. The shimmers are gorgeous. I love that this one isn't totally monochromatic. It makes me feel more creative and really happy. I love yellow eyeshadow and I'm really good with this one. Again, maybe I could have ranked this one a little bit higher, but 
ultimately decided that the other things going forward I might reach for more so that's why I ranked it here number 24 is the surrender palette from unearthly cosmetics this came in the Valentine's mystery box earlier this year and I think this one is beautiful I love the layout of this one I think it's so cute with the smaller pans I love a red purple pink color story I think it's so good I think the shimmers in here are fantastic and the mattes are so cute I love the mixture of brightness with like moodiness i don't know this one's just a very like romantic but also grungy vibe and i think it's so fun number 23 is the ColourPop lost in wonderland palette i think i've only tried two ColourPop palettes so far this year and this is this is one of them this one made me really excited i was really happy they sent it to me because i was even tempted to buy it myself just because i think this is a really fun color story it's a little bit outside the box for ColourPop at least and I think it's fun. There's a good mixture of textures with the shimmers, and I think the mattes are all really cool. My only complaint, and I hate that there's even a complaint because this could be such a fun color story, is I just feel like there needs to be a darker matte in here. Like, I would have probably replaced this one with like a darker blue or a darker purple. I just feel like that would have rounded this palette out so nicely because it's a lot of light tone mattes. There's a lot of light shimmers as well, but then like these two shimmers at the bottom, they just kind of, I don't know, throw it off a little bit for me. I don't like when the darkest shade in a palette is a, like a shimmer. I'd rather it be a matte. So that's the only thing that I would change. Number 22 is my Deep Sea Treasures palette from Cleona. They sent this to me recently and I've been having a lot of fun with it. It is just multi-chrome extravaganza in here. It's so pretty. They're all so shifty and sparkly and amazing. I thought I was gonna rank this higher, honestly, just because they are so pretty, but I don't reach for all shimmer palettes all the time. Like I do, I'll definitely dip into them for specific shades, but just compared to the other things as a whole, I'm more likely to reach for everything else. So this one's just gonna hang out as number 22, kind of right in the middle. And number 21 is the Ellie Star Brittany Huffman collab with Bella Beauty Bar, the best mattes palette. This is an all mattes kind of situation. These are actually all magnetic as well. And I did rearrange mine. This isn't how it normally comes. Um, I saw a video Brittany Huffman posted actually on how she rearranged the palette. So I did the same way and I really like it. I think it's really pretty. I've really enjoyed these mattes. I've only used it twice so far, but I think these are really pretty. Bella Beauty Bars definitely stepped up their matte game compared to what I tried last year. And everything is just super saturated and blendable. I love the mixture of darker grungy tones with pops of neon. Overall, I think even though it's like a big rainbow palette, this is like what I want in a rainbow palette. I want like weird tones. I want weird shades. Like give me the, the uniqueness. I don't want just basic rainbows. Moving on now to the top 20. We are in the top half of my ranking so far this year. Number 20 is the Wicked Widow Beauty Tea Time Palette. Beauty Little Alice in Wonderland themed palette. I really enjoyed this one. I think the shimmers are so glossy, sparkly on the lids and the mattes are really cute. Again, if I could change anything, I maybe would have darkened that blue a little bit or just just done something like I feel like it needs a darker matte but for the most part I think this is a beautiful fun little palette number 19 is the gourmet girls collab with Sirius Soto the warriors wear pink palette I think this is so cute I love the theming I think it's a beautiful concept I think the colors are so fun again I love pink purple red together I love the pop of this like turquoise shimmer in the mix I just think this is so fun it's kind of weird and I love it I like that there's moodiness and really dark shades, but there's also really pretty light romantic vibes. This is a really pretty one. I think they did a really good job. Number 18 is the Nomad Cosmetics Okavango Safari Palette. I've quite enjoyed this one. I think it is such a cutie. I love these swampy grungy tones. I think the shimmers are really pretty. I love the animal print embossings. It's just overall a good time. And now again, I don't reach for like neutrals very often. So I like that this is like neutrals with a twist. It has like those pops of swampiness. But everything else going forward, I'm just probably gonna reach for more, but I do love a grungy color story. Number 17 is the final Ace Beauté palette out of that collection. This is the Begonia. I just love the packaging on these. I um, mean, this is by far like the best one of that grouping. It's so fun. I love this grungy garden vibe. I love that we have like the plummy rosy shades with the dingy greens. It's just all good things. I love it. I love it so much. Again, the formula is amazing. And I was just super, super happy with this guy. Number 16 is the Nomad Cosmetics uh, Verona palette. This one is so pretty. 
It's kind of like a love and death, Romeo and Juliet kind of vibe. I don't always love palettes that are like double-sided like this, but I feel like this one was done really well. And I think they separately play really nice as like little cute nine pans, but you can also mix and match. I love the moody, grungy, dark side with the very bright pop in pink and red side. I just think this one was such a fun release. I don't have really anything like this. And this one makes me happy. I think the shimmers are really glitzy and fun. And I love Nomad's Matte Formula. Number 15 is the Bella Beauty Bar Smoky Glam Palette. And I would love to start by saying I don't love giant palettes. This is 36 pans. It is hefty. But I feel like Bella Beauty Bar does do a really good job at doing a big palette well. Like we have a really good gradient of light to dark. We have a lot of special shades the shimmers in here are top tier they're so pretty and i feel so romantic i love that we have kind of the light and airy columns kind of the pops of color and then the very swampy grungy cool tone vibes if i'm gonna play with neutrals it's always gonna be cool tones that's just my favorite thing um and i think this is a really well done kind of smoky neutral glam grungy vibe i i just love it number 14 is the glam light chucky palette this is the only thing they've ever sent me in pr <laughs> but i'm really happy they sent it to me because I was tempted to buy it. Um, it's very, very pretty. I love smoky, grungy tones. Again, I love cool tones. I love these burgundy shades. Overall, I thought this one was a really, really fun collection. I had a good time with it. I don't really have any complaints. I'm just maybe more likely to reach for the other things. So yeah, number 14. Number 13 is my final Bella Beauty Bar palette. This is the Pastel Garden. Um, this is amazing. I was so blown away when I tried this one. The shimmers are top tier. These mattes are so blendable and buttery. This was where I noticed like their matte formula getting better. Um, I think this is so fun. Again, 36 pans, but 36 pans done so right. We have so many different undertones and I feel like even though maybe it could be condensed down more because I mean 36 shades is a lot. I feel like they still did a good job using 36 shades and giving us variety. This is like the ultimate pastel palette. It is everything that I needed. It is so good. I am obsessed, but I don't reach for like pastel rainbows all the time. So I couldn't rank it any higher, but I did want to rank this one pretty high. Number 12 is the Unearthly Cosmetics collab with Heather Austin. So happy for both of them. This is the Resurgence palette and I think it's so cool. I love that it's kind of dark and like moody, spooky, but then there's these pops of like neon vibrancy. It is such a weird color story and I love it. It gets my creative juices flowing. These shimmers in here are insane and I just absolutely love this one. I think it's so good. Like I almost put this one in the top 10, but it just got beat out by the next 11 by just a little bit, but I adore this one. And the packaging is just so beautiful. Number 11 is my Don't Be Jelly palette from Unearthly. They kind of re-released the Don't Be Jelly because they did a Don't Be Jelly last year and this is like a re-release, but it's also very different. I feel like they should have just gone for a different name, honestly, because it's like nothing like the original. Um, but this one's beautiful. I love this color story. I love blues, purples, and greens. The shimmers in here are insane. Overall, this is just a very me palette, and I had to rank it highly. It didn't quite make it in the top 10, but it made it very close. I think this is beautiful. Hydro Space is such a cool shimmer. Moving into the top 10 now, number 10 is my Salem Cosmetics and Smink collab, the Forest heart palette this is just beautiful it's whimsical and forest fairy energy i love it i love the combination of whimsy and grungy it's such a cool arrangement of colors the shimmers in here are amazing i'm just so happy that i've gotten to see salem cosmetics really up their formulas um, in their time of doing eyeshadow palettes since last year this is just such a good palette by far their best palette they've ever done number nine is my wicked widow beauty scissor hands 2 palette this was actually my first uh, palette i tried from them ever it was at the beginning of this year and i was so blown away I adore this color story. I love these like moody wintry vibes. And again, these shimmers are just so beautiful and wet looking on the lids. I was so blown away impressed with this one. Number eight is my Jewels and Gem palette from Odin's Eye. This one's so beautiful. I love that it gives me that like romantic mauve vibe, but it also has the additions of like the grungy purples and deep blues. The shimmers in here are so top tier. I'm such a sucker for Odin's Eye, obviously. And I'm just so impressed with this one. I think this was such a cool collection because this one came out with another palette that I'm going to talk about here in a second. Um, and this one's just beautiful. I love it. Number seven is my Rogue palette from Fantasy Cosmetica. I love this brand with my whole entire soul. 
I think that they come out with really beautiful things and this palette is amazing. I love these moody blues, the pop of lavender, that sagey green, the shimmers in here are incredible. This is just such a good one. Number six is my Nomad Cosmetics Royal Europe palette, my favorite palette Nomad has done so far this year. This was their dip into multi-chromes here at the bottom. I love a saturated jewel toned kind of situation. It's just so pretty. I love these moody vibes. It makes my soul so happy. Moving on to the top five now. Number five is going to be my Lethal Cosmetics Wildflower Palette. I just thought this was the cutest little spring release ever. I think these vibes are so fun. I love that we have some darker tones, but it's mostly just like whimsical brightness very like fairy spring vibes these shimmers are so so good and shifty and sparkly i fell head over heels in love with this one really really fast number four is my lure palette from blend bunny this is so good definitely my favorite blend bunny palette of the year so far it's amazing i just uh, i love that we have such a concise color story with still her traditional lovely gradient of light medium and deep the shimmers in here are incredible this one is like a multi-chrome sparkly situation this is so 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 good and i think this one's gonna stay a long time favorite as of the moment that i'm filming this i know that the newest blend bunny collection got announced i don't have it at this precise moment so that's why i'm not including it in this uh ranking because i haven't tried it just yet but i will be trying it very very soon so stay tuned it'll be coming oh my top three i love my top three honestly i don't see my top three changing but i guess we'll find out um this is the stone and rock palette from odin's eye the other one from that collection this is just everything swamp queen energy i love how moody and dark it gets the shimmers in here are just so good i love the pops of these grungy greens and this weird teal even like some of these like neutrally bronzy shimmers have really pretty reflex in them overall this is just so good a grungy dream if you love grungy tones if you love green vibes this is the one for you number two is my moonfall palette from shroud i love this i'm so so happy this exists it's just so pretty people have been asking shroud forever to turn her moonfall singles into a full palette and she did and it came out so good i think this is so super pretty the mattes in here on the outside corners are her original moonfall matte singles with the addition of a new shade and then these three shimmers on the top bottom and side there are based on her original moonfall singles but these are like revamped and pumped up to be even better and then devotion is a new shade as well um i love this it's so good i love shroud obviously and this one is very deserving to not only be in the top 10 but to be in the top three side note also her new palette the peaches and dreams palette did get announced at the moment that i'm filming this and it's on its way to me i just don't think it's going to arrive before this video goes up. So not including that in the ranking, but it'll be at the end of the year, obviously. And finally, ranked number one, drum roll please. I don't think this will shock anyone. It's the Muse palette from Cosmic Brushes. I am so obsessed with this little palette. It is so good i just live and breathe for all these tones these mattes blend like butter these shimmers are so glossy and shifty on the lids i'm just so impressed with this formula this was my first time trying anything from cosmic brushes and i was so blown away i'm very happy to place this one as number one and i'm excited to see more from them i did buy their new delicious delights palette and i also finally bought the serenity on that order as well so as soon as those arrive i'll be doing videos of course so just stay tuned but this was a very great introduction to the brand for me and yeah that uh says it all all 41 palettes ranked i guess we should just zoom out and finish up this video thanks so much for watching my video i would love to hear your thoughts did my ranking make sense to you do you agree or disagree with where i placed anything what are your thoughts on the palettes I talked about today. And again, like I said in the intro, I would love to hear your thoughts on palettes you've personally tried this year. Feel free to rank them all or just list a few of your favorites. If you made it to the end of this video, you know, why don't you leave some spooky emojis? We got the spooky vibes today. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Batty Bean fam. I'm Batty Bean on everything, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And if you want, you can subscribe if you wanna see more of my videos. I'm posting most days here as well. And also feel free to join my channel memberships. The link to sign up will be down below. You'll get some fun little perks, including a members only get ready with me once a month. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.